Hey, pipe smokers. Freedom to ignite here. Enjoying my Porsche design pipe. Um, I'm driving here, and the sun's going in and out of the clouds, so hopefully the camera keeps up and doesn't annoy you. Anyway, uh, when I started this video the first time, I was sitting in traffic, it's opened up, but uh, I'm on a roll, so here we go again. Uh, anyway, uh, this all started because Piper McGee did a box opening video where a uh, nice YouTuber sent him a sampling of some Virginians. Not to be confused with the residents of the, of the state, but the actual tobacco. Uh, and he had some very good ones in it, one of which I haven't touched in years, and that's actually what I have in this is um what is it oh navy flake mcbaron's navy flake and i mentioned in comments on piper mcgee's video that i like full virginia flake in this pipe i like it in this pipe because it's a filtered pipe um full virginia flake and my body chemistry it bites me i've dried that stuff out to the point it is uh, sawdust and it still bites so this pipe though I still get the flavor that everybody knows and loves okay most people know and love and uh, without the pain so that that's a good thing um, so after that video I decided to pull this pipe out thought I'd show it off to you guys it's a gorgeous pipe uh, retail last I saw one for sale it's about $400 and as you might notice I have a softy bit on the end because for a $400 pipe, it has one of the most uncomfortable mouthpieces I've ever experienced. Um, it's too small, the butt, or it's, it's too thick, the button is too small, it doesn't fit in your mouth, and on top of that, the pipe is heavy. So, most of my videos you've seen me, um, or most of the experiences I'm talking about, uh, enjoying a pipe, driving long distances, I have a nice companion. Uh, you know, it makes the time go by fast, I get to enjoy the tobacco, listen to podcast on you know politics cars guns pipe tobacco gardening brewing beer whatever suits my fancy at the moment and that can be just about anything um anyway i'm getting sidetracked sorry uh so i like i like that and this pipe just it's too heavy for that uh i brought it today because well i wanted to smoke it and, you know who cares about comfort sometimes um the other very important thing or, uh, the other disappointing thing about this is it was the weight. Uh, the balance just isn't there. That Martinsky pipe that I've been enamored with lately, um, the balance is perfect. The wood is lighter, the bowl is lighter. It's just, it fits the purpose better. Um, which leads me for an idea for another video. So I need to keep getting sidetracked. Second time to do a video, you just get so many more thoughts going. Um, so anyway, back to Piper McGee. Piper McGee. Um, and this pipe, it's a filtered pipe. Um, I don't always smoke filtered pipes. In fact, for the longest time, all the old codgers told me to just take the filter and throw it away. You don't want that. It, uh, it takes away from the taste of the tobacco, all these other things. And I believed them. And to an extent, they're right. Uh, this McBaron's Navy Flake in the pipe here uh, is not as full bodied as it was the other day when I had it in the aforementioned Tinsky pipe. It's not a bad thing. The one thing is, is I'm not getting any tongue bite, and I'm puffing on it pretty hard. I've had the sunroof open. It's swirling um, the air around in the tobacco bowl. It's got a constant burn going before I started the video, and now I'm, not, I'm talking instead of smoking. And now it's out, so that's fine. Um, but <laughs> it's got its pluses and minuses. I can taste different flavors than I can taste because my tongue is not on fire um, also a good thing but with it being not comfortable I don't smoke it a whole lot um, I've thought about having a second st a more comfortable stem made for me I'm not sure it's worth the time or the effort uh, it still wouldn't be light it wouldn't lighten the pipe any per se to allow me to you know use it while you know enjoy it while driving or while walking the dog so if it's something I'm gonna hold like a straight pipe this is fine um, but going back to the filters try them out this is a uh, blitz I believe or blitz blitz I don't know some 
charcoal filter I got off of smoking pipes and uh, it's pretty nice I've I also realized I have some nine millimeter um, balsa wood filters from Savinelli that I'm going to try in it with the same tobacco after the pipe is dried out a bit uh, to give it a constant you know off the shelf no moisture in it and see how that does with this tobacco flavor I don't know if it's gonna change anything but I'll let you know I guess the, you know all of this rant and ramble and trying to make sure I didn't skip anything I said in the first video and hopefully not restate something I or hopefully I didn't just say the same thing over and over again for five minutes but get a filter pipe and try one um, if you don't like the pipe tobacco or don't enjoy a tobacco you have trying the filter pipe it might make it better um, as far as the MacBaron Navy Flake I think if you guys have been watching my videos you know what my favorite Virginian is uh, I know this has got a little perique in it but if I'm gonna go with something a little with a little perique in it I'm gonna go with something with a lot of perique in it um, I don't know it's just me uh, I would prefer to go with a Peter Stokeby Navy Flake or um, their roll cake, Peter Stokeby's roll cake. I haven't had it since uh, it's no longer uh, being done by Peter Stokeby, so it's hard to say if what you're buying today is still as good. Uh, if somebody wants to comment on that, please do. I'd be very interested. Uh, but yeah, try try a filter pipe if you haven't. The cheapest way to go is to get a corn cob. Don't use the corrugated or the, the cardboard filter they give you. It's not corrugated, that's what I do every day, sorry. Um, use a cardboard filter, throw that out, or try it. Yeah, it might work for you. Try a balsa wood filter. I know that the six millimeter filters will work in that, so you could try uh, the six millimeter Savinelli balsa wood filters. I don't know because I've not tried to purchase them, but you may even be able to get carbon filters in six millimeter. Yeah, you're gonna have probably well, you will. You'll have more money in, in filters than you will in a corn cob pipe. But try it. It might, you know, save some of those tins of tobacco that you didn't like or that your mouth didn't like or burnt the crap out of your mouth. I'm also starting to wonder out loud here if starting with a filter might be beneficial for those who are starting out. Um, I don't know. I fear that it might give new pipe smokers a bit of a a crutch or you know uh, unrealistic expectations as to how to puff on a pipe rather or you know puff and sip or sip a pipe rather than puff a pipe like you would a cigarette or a cigar I don't know um, what do you guys think uh, do you have any experience with filter pipes um, you tried the different filters if you noticed any taste difference between them do you have a preference uh, do you not like filtered pipes at all have you ever tried a filtered pipe and or you just hate them because that's what you're supposed to do as a real man pipe smoker that does not smoke aromatics or drugstore tobacco I don't know let me know I know this is a longer video but uh, thanks for coming along and uh, hope it's not provoking um, yeah, the roads are getting bad, so I'm sure I'm all over the place, so, uh, at least in the video. I know I'm right in my lane where I should be paying attention to traffic, so, anyway, thanks a lot, uh, let me know what you think. Talk to y'all later.